Oh, you caught me eating them. Wellness <laughs> Wednesday here with Tracy Green, and we, we're snacking right now <laughs> she here. She caught me eating it. Yes, uh, <laughs> we're snacking on some foods high in fiber yes. today, and we're going to discuss a lot of those foods and how you can get them. But real quick, Tracy, why is it good to, to have foods high well, in fiber? Well, you want fiber because that helps clean you out. Okay, it digestive helps, system. That's right, All right. Out, and it helps just clean you out. So foods high in fiber, they also help keep you fuller longer a little bit. Okay. So we want to make sure we have lots of foods in fiber, and a lot of people don't know how to use foods in yeah. fiber or how to get them. So so we're okay. going to talk about some of those things today. Um, we've got beans down here, right. of course, your beans. You've got your kidney beans, black beans, um, chickpeas. And, okay, it doesn't look like I have a chickpea bean here, right? No. That's where you're, you, there's chickpea pasta. Yeah, I've seen that before. hummus. Ooh, I love hummus. Right? Those are all chickpeas. Okay. So just because it's not an actual bean, right. there's a way to get that. Absolutely. Um, but you got also you na navy beans, edamame. I love edamame. Okay. Throwing an edamame in a salad. Yes. Love edamame in a salad. Okay. Um, lima beans. Mm -hmm. So those are some of your high fiber beans. Yeah, I'd like to do Taco Tuesday sometimes and add like black beans in the yes. with the turkey meat yes. just see, as a so way see, too. See, you've yeah. got a great way to get your, your fiber in. You should be able to get fiber in and just about any meal. Um, next, we have your whole grains. Okay. Now, in your whole grains, you've got lentils, quinoa, popcorn. There we go. Yeah, oats, barleys. Um, and so popcorn's a great snack. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh -huh. absolutely. See, great I'll snack. <laughs> so you can always get popcorn in a snack. Great fiber source. Mm -hmm. Oatmeal, start your day in the morning. Love with oatmeal. oatmeal. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can mix rice with uh, sorry, quinoa with mm -hmm. brown rice if you want to, yeah. or you can mix it in any type of salad. That's a great way to get your quinoa. So um, starting your day with oats is a great way to get. Yeah, your and there's a way to the dress morning. up your oats as well with yeah. the next food group. Right, that's even. right. <laughs> that's perfect. Your fruits. Yeah. So we have apples, grapefruits, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. <laughs> You also have persimmons and uh, kiwis okay. are great sources uh, for that, and putting them in your smoothies. Yeah, so there you, you can go. have a fruit smoothie. You could put the fruit in your oatmeal mm -hmm. and get lots of fiber. Yeah. Uh, so, or you just snack on it the way. I know that's snack what that's what we've been doing. Yeah. I'm gonna take this blueberry right here, if mm -hmm. I would. My son um, could eat that whole bowl right now in about a minute. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, moving on to our vegetables. Okay. So these are your vegetables that are the highest in fiber. You have um, artichoke. I did artichoke hearts, but you can have fresh artichokes. Mm -hmm. um, pumpkin, you can either have it in the can or Ooh. in, you know, the actual pumpkin form. So you've got those two. Uh, you've got Brussels sprouts. Now, Brussels sprouts are ones that I would not eat. If you <laughs> cooked these Brussels sprouts, there's no way I would eat it. But if you chopped it up and put it in a salad, I'd eat it all day long. Yeah, there so you go. So that's a great way to get it in. Air fryer for the Brussels it's, sprouts is my go. suggestion. Uh, acorn squash is another good one. Um, broccoli. Love and broccoli. Any sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. And you can throw all that stuff in a salad. Yeah. And you wouldn't even know half of them because right. if you don't really like them, you know, you can always do it. You can use the squash. You can fill it with um, like meats and cheeses and stuff true, like that. And true, kind of do true. like a casserole in it. Okay. Um, and bake it. So there's lots of stuff that you can do with these items here. You can even just dip your carrots right. if you want. Maybe a little ranch dressing in moderation. Yeah. Right. right, that's okay. right. <laughs> um, and our last group is the nut group. You have your flaxseed, which I think is the hardest one to yeah. use. Yeah. But you can throw it in a protein shake. You can put it in your oatmeal. There you go. A little, get a little bit higher fiber. So there are ways that you can use flaxseed. And if you look up recipes using flaxseed, that's a great way to find out how to use it too and be more familiar with flaxseed. Okay. Um, pistachio nuts, chia seeds. You know, I love chia pudding. We had that on one day. Right. So you got your chia pudding, but you can also put these in, in, in your smoothies and right. things like that. And you have your almonds and sunflower seeds. Mm. Great, um, great uh, nuts. These are your best Yeah, And great nuts for snacking. Use. This is stuff that you mm -hmm. can easily, and a lot of this stuff is, but the nuts are great. You know, you can have those yeah, on the go. Yeah, with yeah, little cheese cubes or yeah, something and kind of mix full. them. And for dried fruits, you can put dried fruits there with you them. Go. Put your dried raspberries with them, yeah. and then you've got a full, you know, trail mix. Right. They, they all complement each other they very do. well. They do. And, and these like, are your highest fiber foods. These there are the, you go. These are your go-tos. All right. And, of course, we'll have those all online as well at mypanhandle.com. Tracy Green from Pure Platinum. We appreciate it as Yay. always. And, of course, so join, much us, fun. join us next week as uh, Chris will be doing some, some workout, exercise, you, you some bet. fitness stuff. We'll be right back. <laughs>